hello everyone it's me as you welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial and today i'll show you how to make a photography logo so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first i'll go to the file and take a new artboard artboard or whatever it is and here uh, i'm taking the logo okay giving the name and then the resolution 200 pixel by 200 pixel and hit the create button and after that i got artboard over here and then go to the polygon tool draw polygon like hexagon i'm giving here 100 pixel and hit ok after that turn off the fill color keep the stroke like that and stroke thickness only 2 pt and then select here the align to artboard and make sure that this one is the align in a middle after that let's go to check out something smart guide is on and snap to pixel off that means if i go to over here snap to point and smart guide is on and now we'll work over here how to work with that i'm making it zoom and then press ctrl or command y for the outline mode and now i'll draw some lines over here how to draw line paint tool p from the keyboard and draw a line like that so Make sure that the line is good like this so i think that's good and it's totally aligned with that press the return button to give back like that okay fine here the line is not properly aligned you have to draw this one again so give over here okay fine and now i think now that's good and yeah that's joined with the line okay fine and press v from the keyboard after that i will rotate over there but this line is too much and i'll cut it out how to cut it out take another line and i'll cut from here that's good and press v from here select the, these two things shift m from the keyboard and press the alter option button and delete over things okay fine unnecessary things okay fine now i'll just rotate this one before that i'll take a circle over here go to the ellipse tool and draw the circle just find out the circle center and press the option and alter or shift button and draw the circle like this okay fine that's fine and now select this line and then press the r for the rotation tool select once over here for the center and press the alter or option button select over here you will get the like a uh, window like that so here is the angle here is 60 degree just because of the hexagon is 60 degree angles each like uh, angles are 60 degrees that's why i'm just giving over here 60 degree and make the copy over here is just just copy over here and press d control or command d d and d control or command d you're getting these type of things now i have to make the circle bigger like that that's fine and now I'm just get back to the normal mode now I'll increase the stroke thickness for or uh, six is good I think now I'll make copy by pressing alter or option button over here press ctrl or command D D fine now I'll trim over there uh, before that you have to trim the thing which is the the unnecessary thing over here how to trim those things before that i have to make it a little bit smaller like that yeah that's fine that will be easy for me to trim over here select all the things press shift m for the shape builders tool and minus over here which portion do you want to remove over here so this portion so here press the option button or alter button from the windows just select once it will gone okay fine and now i'll rotate these three lines i'm selecting by pressing shift and hold it and making it group just mark the uh, shortcut keys what i'm just pressing over here and now i'll uh, rotate these three things i'm selecting that things and uh, press r from the rotation tool for the rotation tool and find out the uh, like a uh, center press the alter option button it will help you out to find the center and select once that's fine and after that again you will get this window and 
write down 60 over here and hit the copy button and then controller command d controller command d controller command d and control command d you're getting nice things and now i'll delete that things that's fine and i'll select all the things increasing some thickness like 10 is good for me and make the stroke alignment like this it will help you out to align with that now i'll write down the letter a and here is the text tool or press t from the keyboard and then write down something over here make the font size bigger and give a font uh, like nexa is my favorite font and because of my name is uh, asmr if i'm writing down a from here and making it a little bit bigger right press and create outline and now select all the things except the things press the shift and hold it and group it out and after that i'll make it alignment into middle like this that's fine and now i'll write down something over here so taking text tool again select once and writing my name okay asm arif and then i'm selecting this key subject and making it in a middle select these two things actually and making it middle like that and you can make it yeah a little bit bigger that's fine and now i'll write down something in a, a lower side of that so taking another text tool and choosing the font next the light so i'll provide you the font download link in my uh, video details so check it out and then i'll giving the golden ratio like 1.6 less than okay and again 1.6 this one is the font size okay fine now write down the photography okay nice and selecting these two things making it like center alignment that's fine now logo is ready and now making all the thing in group and then select this one the island to artboard and the middle like that okay fine and now i'll make it all outline how to do that go to the object and expand and hit okay okay fine if you need you can make it a little bit bigger our logo is ready and now i want to mock it up how to mock up so here is the mock-up and i'll provide you the mock-up download link in my video description and now i photoshop here is uh like uh, the smart object double place over here double after double pressing over here you're getting the new window and some of my logo i just uh, given over here and now i'll giving this logo select these things and press controller command c copy for that actually and then turn off this one and controller command v make it pixel and make it a little bit bigger hit the tick button and save this out you are getting like that and if you need the like actions or texture like that you are getting like that if you want to change the color how to change it out and go to the solid color and take a color like red or other things and make it create clipping mask and then save these things and you are getting the instant change color over there so here i will provide the like little bit like golden type and hit ok and save it out you're getting the logo like that if you need you can change the shape i'm making it a little bit smaller and make the alignment in the middle like this and save these things and then you're getting this type of logo over here so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i'm asmr signing out today bye bye